Awesome Fun What is up dudes, dudettes and dudes who defy description And welcome back to another episode of Awesome Fun in Minecraft I'm here with my Android buddy On top of our awesome automated iron factory that we created in our last episode But it's not this that we did last time that we're thinking about. We're reaching for the skies as we think about some upgrades to the Iron Zeppelin. Now, it's a bit of a mixed feelings about this because this is one of the oldest builds in this area, in this world, in fact. It's been here for or almost two years. One of the biggest things I'd ever built to date and... It feels strange to be changing it, but I know that we've all improved so much since this was built, and we can do something even better. So what are we actually going to do to this thing? Well, one thing we're not going to do is take the whole thing down. I don't want to have to do that. But let me tell you a little bit about it. What is it? Well, it might seem obvious, but let's have a quick check. What we've got in here is our iron farm. So you can see, zombie scares the dudes. Dudes produce the golems, golems fall down. So this does help dictate what we can do because we have to be careful how we build. At the moment, we've got probably carpet on everything on top of here to stop the golems from spawning anywhere else. And we need to be careful to ensure that stays the same. Nothing that we add should break the farm. That's important. So that's one thing that we've got to bear in mind. And I think, what do we actually want to do? Well... The build is obviously made out of one block. It's made out of iron blocks. And that doesn't give it a lot of visual differentiation. We're relying on the curves, the shape of the wings, the way it tapers in at the back. We're relying on that to convey the shape and the detail of it. The only detail we've got is this kind of supposed fire heat-based engine that should be powering it. So what I'm thinking of, my ideas are... I want to change the wings. I want to make the wings a bit bigger. And we maybe want to, on the inside of the wings, have a different material of some kind as well. I've also got this idea in my head that there should be a giant fan on the back of here. Like a big four-bladed spinning fan. Obviously, it won't spin, but we should have a fan on the back as if a fan is blowing it. Bigger wings with something in between. And I think we should pick a color. Now, I'm thinking blue because purple is my favorite color. But we don't want everything. We don't want too much purple. <clears throat> and blue is not something that we've really used anywhere else. So it will be quite unique. And we also have quite a bit of cool new blue materials in the slabs and the fences and things from the nether update. So I'm thinking silver and blue are the two colors we're going to go for. We're going to add a big fan at the back. We're going to change the wings. Other ideas I've got. The front part here, instead of it being a cone like this, I think we can maybe make it more like a sphere. So it's more rounded on the top. I would also like to add some cargo bay doors. So as if there's two doors underneath here that have been pulled back. Ah, oh, damn. There's <laughs> that land there, perfect angle. You can see it fine from here. But underneath here, we can have a door as if it's like risen up around the side so we've got two doors on the bottom that have opened to allow the stuff to be dropped down and then i think those are the main things we'd also want to add some stuff because the factory is automated so i would like to give the idea that this balloon the zeppelin is also automated it's an unmanned aerial vehicle so it is so we want to add a whole bunch of aerials and antennas and electronic gear on it to help tell the story that it is in fact an automated thing so we've got lots of different things that we're going to do i'm scared to get started because oh it's um i'm excited by what it's going to look like but also when you build something this big and especially off the ground as well it's always a bit intimidating in minecraft but i think it's time to bite the bullet let's get in there let's get working on a redesign first of all for the wings or the fins. Let's do it. I know what you're thinking. You're like, Oz, can you not tell the difference between a wing and a fan? You said you were going to build a wing and you built a fan. What's going on here? 
I, I know, I know. Okay, what I thought is, I thought I have to build this fan bit on the back to help me exactly get the shape and size correct for the wing. And boy, oh boy, was it worth it. I am getting so inspired here. Isn't this looking amazing? Just this one change. So you see, we've gone for these kind of chiseled blocks with the walls on the outside to give it a kind of more interesting and dynamic shape. We've got a crossbar in the center made of andesite walls. Our lodestone in the center left these spaces out and kind of gone for this paddle shape on the outside made of warp trapped doors. Because what I decided I want to do is I wanted to have a chain that is going to connect all sides of this um, to hold this in position and as if it could move to help it in. So I wanted that in position first and that has really helped me get the shape of the wing. So I had an idea in mind but it didn't work in terms of the size as well. I just hope that when we flip to the bottom and we put the wing here it doesn't create too many problems there but i'm hoping because it's open air it's gonna open here it's gonna reduce some of the darkness we got on the bottom which is one of our goals and i just think it looks awesome this idea of using blue with the silver i'm so inspired so let's go and put in another three wings so we're gonna literally wing it Ow! i've always wanted to tell you i'm your biggest fan Oh, with the wings, this is looking spectacular. Oh, look at this kind of angles when you fly around, fly through it. Doesn't it look terrific? Let's land over here. Oh, yeah. Those wings are magnificent with the wire and stuff on it as well. It's really lit up the area there too. And it makes it look a lot longer. Also makes the iron like look like it's written in the wrong place. So... This is a fantastic start, don't you think? This Can't you imagine now, once we spread this throughout the whole thing, this level of awesomeness, this is going to be outstanding. So I think our next plan is to give the, uh, the Zeppelin a bit of a nose job, shall we say. So at the front here, instead of it being this kind of blunter shape, we're going to go for a, like a half sphere shape. That is the idea. It'll maybe be a little bit shorter, and I think it'll look a lot better. I mean, it looks quite good from the front, but I think from the side, it has a really blunt, kind of not-so-nice frontage. So if we give that a smoother frontage, we'll take off the iron as well, and then we'll get an idea of how we can spread the blue through the front and down the sides before we move on to our cargo bay doors. So, uh, time to do some uh, surgery. Our surgery is completed. We can see we've now no longer got the iron on the side. And if we uh, jump over here, we can see that we've no longer got a front. And just in case you wondered what was on the inside, it isn't solid iron all the way through, because then obviously it would be too heavy to float. But we have exercised the nose from the front and we've put on, it's 25 by 25. And I'm just keeping this center block going to keep this bit here so that we have this as a reference so that we always make sure we're keeping that in mind because I wanted to have a cool point with some funky stuff going on there. So with all of this in place, it's now time for us to get spherical, spherical, oh yeah. Now our Zeppelin has a nose, and obviously we have to talk about this because that wasn't there in the time lapse, but I find this really funny. I think it looks awesome. How much better does that look when you fly at it at the front from this angle? It's wicked, and I also ended this very small, well, it's not that small, I guess, little propeller at the front. And I'll talk about this in a little second too, but I just think this is much better. But what I think is quite funny is if you come to it from the side. Is it exactly the same? It's hard to... It's, can't, it's not exactly the same, but from the side, it doesn't look too different. But from the front, it looks insanely different. It's bizarre, but I absolutely love it. And we probably will. I haven't seen any yet so far, but I've started doing a little bit of mob proofing. But we still got more to do, so I don't want to mob proof until we've decided 
exactly what we're going to do. Now, another thing that I did that didn't feature in the time lapse because it wasn't particularly exciting is I just added a little bit more, thickened this bit of the side and changed this. Obviously, we used to have iron written on the side. Now, we still do because this is iron written in the galactic alphabet. And there's a really awesome YouTuber called Cub Fan. I'm sure you've probably uh, heard of him. And his videos are great. I really, really get inspired by what he does. And he had a great idea in his episode recently where he talked about the standard galactic alphabet. If you've never heard of this, it's the language that is used. It was used originally in a game called Commander Keen, and now it's used in the Minecraft enchanting table. So when you see those symbols on the enchanting table, they do translate to something. I think the words themselves are kind of nonsensical, the sentences, but the letters are in the standard galactic alphabet. And I like that because it's not quite as blunt as having it written in English. Plus, this is not Earth. This is a different place. So why should its uh, language be things like English or other Earth languages? She'd have a standard galactic alphabet. And I love I went for cyan glass panes in front of sea lanterns. And it just, as we get the blue, the little nods to the blue, it's great. So we got it on this side. And of course, on the other side as well. So this is starting to come together really great. But now we're into the difficult stage, folks, because... I've done all the easy ideas, basically what the, the low-hanging fruit of ideas that I had. And now I've got to decide what to do next. And this is where it gets difficult. I feel like we need more blue. I feel like we need something here. The problem I've got now is I think this connects good here. But look here. It feels like it's not quite right. But if I start carving into this, it's really going to mess up. Plus... Taking a couple of blocks away is not a very easy thing to do on something like that. If you think to yourself, like even deciding for me to cut this bit here and make this look a bit angled, to do that, you've then got to do it on all sides. Remember exactly. So if I was to take like a couple of blocks away here and there, I have to remember them everywhere. And so what we need to work out is where else are we going to put in blue stuff? Can we put like a line of it that runs down the front? on the side or something like that but i know where we can go now and i've got some ideas for this we can go underneath because we have a practical mission as well as a creative mission as well so we are looking to have a bit more light under here it's so dark underneath the zeppelin here we want this to be nice and bright so i'm thinking that we might attach some kind of hanging angular spotlights to the below section of here and we need to add some doors now i was thinking that they might open up like they might basically be like doors that are curved around the edges here as if they've pulled back but i think that might be both really difficult and might look weird so what we might want to do is instead have it like they're sliding doors so if you imagine if you imagine this was the door and it's like partially open inside so there are doors that retract back and then we can put some lighting across the doors and something as well and get this whole under section here lit so i think this is what i'm going to try to do next so sir please deactivate the factory to allow me to do some construction otherwise it, it, it just won't be safe thank you sir this has to be one of my favorite views of this and maybe you can see some of what we've done on the bottom here you can see We've got some mini fans, one there and one here, just to help guide it, little thrusters to help guide it in place. We've also got some new androids. This one is helping to guide in and chain up and secure the arriving balloon. We've got one here that's trying to continue to guide this one into place as well. And you can see it's much lighter underneath here as well. So let's get a bit up close and personal and I'll show you what we've added so far. So let's use the unofficial path I've been using to get inside. So look at this underneath. Is this not awesome? So we've got this kind of grindstones on the side to imply we've got like a roller mechanism here. And we've got two doors. The idea is that the yellow and red hazard style could connect together if this slides into place and closes. And we've got some light provided by the end rods but also these could be kind of pneumatic pistons that extend out into place 
when this closes. So the idea is this is opening up, it's arriving. Our staff here are securing it into place. And I think that is really awesome. Do you know something? I think the rates seem to have increased since we've done this. So I think that's a sign that the iron golems really like it and they like to spawn. And we, of course, replaced this bit here with our chiseled stone bricks. That's not the only place that we've added some chiseled stone brickage. We've done it on the side bit here. And I think that just gives us even more of a nice highlight. Let's land on the traditional location of landing. And I think that is a really nice addition too. I also added this. I forgot to add, mention this. This is like a little fin. Doesn't look the greatest, I think, from that angle. Ow. From like down here though. Looks really cool, the fin. I think the issue that it has from higher up. Um, and this is an issue that I was having with the lighting as well. Is that this is beginning to clash with our spotlight. So when we're up here... You can't really notice the wings so well because of the spotlight. It blends in the texture together. So I don't know. I don't want to change it because this is what we have used on the other wings. And I like it there. So I think it's all right. We get away with it here. But I didn't want to use it anywhere else. So that's why we went with this pneumatic end rod style thing. And we use some end rods in the dangling fans as well. It gives a bit more light. And it does. You can now see the pop in red on the edge of these pincers that you could not see before. And I also love the fact that this is looking a lot more active. We're telling a much more exciting story. So with the underneath looking uh, pretty good, I think it's time to move up on top and work on our antenna and remote gear as if this is what is communicating with the remote controllers of our airship. I know what you're thinking. What's the Wi-Fi password? But I'm not telling you, it's top secret. This Wi-Fi is too good, too good. Now I'm only kidding, folks. We have ourselves an awesome electronic suite on top of here. Zombie, I know that you're powering the farm, but could you keep the noise down while we're in the middle of doing a recording? That's a big no. Oh, now you've got a friend. It's like stereo annoyance. So yeah, we've got an awesome little aerial going on here. We've got two aerials that we went on, and this is supposed to be a satellite dish. I did have it pointing that way, but I didn't like it as much as this. It's just a kind of satellite. I figured, let's say it's like geostationary. It's working with a geostationary satellite. So, and we've done a bit of back-to-back -back observers. So they're flashing. Just added every different block that I could think of that's electronic-y, that lights up. And I actually went for no blue on here, instead kind of purpley red. And the reason for this is to help this stand out a bit against everything else and i think it looks just perfect because obviously when you're lower down you only see part of it that's why i tried to build things up a bit higher but it just looks great it like fills this space with something very interesting very different and i think really completes this build now another thing i have added i think between clips it's hard to tell because i keep getting like a little idea and then doing it i'm like did i record a bit for that i don't know hopefully but we've added this to the front of our little propeller there even though it's a bit chunky how good does it look from this angle this is the best angle it looks so good oh <laughs> i was trying to pull up over it i didn't mean to become one with it but it looks great just these little bits of detail the kind of gray chiseled stone blocks it pulls out the detail for it there some there some at the back some at the bottom it's great, but I think the best angle of all has to be this angle up here. When you face it from this side here, I think it's absolutely awesome. You see the little fin underneath, you see the electronic suite on the top. You get a little hint of every single thing we've added to this build today. We've added a big fan, we've added the wings, we've added signs on the side, we redid the front, we've added electronics on the top we've added opening bay doors to drop things down we've added additional crew members helping the thing anchor into place this has become what was a pretty interesting just basically giant iron block zeppelin and turned into something really really special but of course, if you have any ideas how we can make this even more special, 
I'd love to hear from you. I think I'm going to stop it there, bearing in mind that in Minecraft, no build is ever really finished. You just stop working on it. But I don't want to keep going because I just feel that I think we've done enough and I think you can overdo it. And I think at the moment we've got the perfect level between big detail and small detail and I think it looks absolutely awesome and I hope it inspires you about how you can take a build that's maybe been in your world for a long time and you think I could do better and maybe you don't have to tear the whole thing down because if I was doing this again I would probably change the entire shape of the body of the iron farm the iron blimp itself but we didn't want to do that. We didn't want to tear the whole thing down. So we worked with what we had and we have got something here we can be really proud of and something I think is super awesome. So thank you so much for spending this time with me. I look forward to spending it with you. Whereas next time we're moving on behind me where you can see the trees, we have got ourselves a lumber area and we need to build that up to be as awesomely industrial as the entire farm. So you take care out there, and I'll see you next time for more awesome fun in Minecraft. Bye-bye! Okay, my robot friends, you didn't laugh last week. Well, there was only one of you last week, but you didn't laugh at my jokes last week, so don't worry, I got some great new ones for you here now, right? How do robots eat salsa? With microchips. Microchips? Quickity quick?